she ain't got no money in the bank. What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with a FIFA Ultimate Team video. The first Ultimate Team video I'm doing on FIFA 16 this year. And it is on one of my favourite players, well non-rare players we should say, in Manuel Lazzini of West Ham United in the Barclays Premier League. Now, I don't know if this is a series I'm going to do a lot of. I've got a couple of squad builders actually lined up for you guys to view too. Um, not including Manuel Lazzini actually, in all honesty. But um, he was one of the first players I got on Ultimate Team when um, I got the game a little bit... Like, we'll start Ultimate Team a little bit later due to uh, being highly engrossed in career mode. So, Manuel Lazzini is a player that I picked up on the cheap. 400 coins. You can probably get him for out about this card value, in all honesty. He's five foot seven. He's got three-star weak foot. He's got four-star skill moves, which comes very much in handy if you are a skiller. But look at this. I played eight games with him. Got seven goals and four assists. He's an incredible player. Um, I was recording the gameplay with him the other day. Well, not the other day, actually... Technically, you could say the other day once, once this video goes out. But if you are enjoying or do like the look of these Ultimate Team videos, guys, then by all means, make sure you do smash that like button. I would very much appreciate it. And also, click that subscribe button if you are new around here. Again, it would mean a lot to me. Without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. It's only a raw 10 minutes of um, video, but I hope you do enjoy it. And so, guys, we do actually have now my game that I did play today in the background of the video. Uh, I played actually quite a good side, in all honesty. So... It was quite an interesting game. It is a cup game, but Cameron Jerome, uh, we've got Diouf up front, uh, Lazzini in that centre attack midfield role. And he actually does get played in here beautifully. It's Manuel Lazzini, cuts back inside. And you can see this guy has just got tons and tons of potential in this game. I mean, that is a quality goal. It really, really was. And it, the finish was just exquisite. Look at this, just cuts back inside of his man. This is a guy that doesn't have that big of a physical stat. And that is what probably weighs more against it when you look at the uh, pro, uh, the pros and cons. So the cons are, yes, he is a little bit weak. He can get barged off the ball quite a lot. But he has quite good balance to weigh, outweigh that, you know. So he, he's a good player. He, he could, he's got so many pros away from his cons. It is unreal. The pros are, he's pacey. He's got great agility. He's got good balance. He can pass the ball. He can get into them right areas. That is Manuel Lazzini. So you just got to make sure if you're getting a cheap team, if you're struggling to find that centre of attacking midfielder with the flair, with the player you need, don't be afraid. Yes, you can buy a big. You can get a big player. But don't be afraid to buy a centre of attacking midfielder that costs around about this card value because that is Manuel Lazzini. He is ultimately a, a, a hidden gem. That is how good he is. And as you can see, Juve completely skips past this man here. It's Mama BM Juve. Cuts inside. It's too easy for him. Gets the shot away. Blocks. Back and goals him. It's a great goal. So, as you can see in the background, I do go 2 0 up. And this game's looking easy. And do you guys like my kits and Ultimate Team too? I really love my kits. I think they're so good. But I also like his kit, the Lazio uh, away kit. It looks really nice. But, yeah, Manuel Lazzini. What a player. Um, I am thinking about using Ravel Morrison also, maybe in a review. Uh, so, can, <sighs> He's the same kind of player, he really is. So it'd be interesting to see how he actually does do in a team. So Ravel Morrison, if you want to see a Ravel Morrison review, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to implement Ravel Morrison into a team. So if you want to see another player review, make sure you smash the like button on this video because again, I'd very much appreciate it. And also subscribe for new around If I get over 10 likes on this video, I'll know to do another player review. But I hope you guys are enjoying this little concept. You know, maybe I'll do a player review and like, play a few games with the player. I don't know if I should do goal highlights or if I should do a game highlight like this, you know, so you can see actually how the player does in the game. No, he's, he's trying to get back to defend here. That's another uh, con about him. He doesn't really have great defending stats, Manuel Lazzini, but he has got the pace to get back and cause the defenders trouble. So, again, his he's pros heavily outweigh the cons, which is very good. As Kabai gets onto the ball here, get another good player to have. It's just, this is just a cheap BPL side here, guys. You know, he's got McTarian, he's got Andre Schurler. He, 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 he's got... Some really good players into his side. Uh, if Juve wins the head, it would actually find Rodriguez. Rodriguez does brilliantly here, but McTarian does actually get the ball away from him. Uh, Aubameyang can't get on there. Um, again, he has a really good Bundesliga side. You, you just have to look at the, look at the team to see it is a really good side. As you can see, though, Kabai lines up a free kick, never really going in there. But yeah, Manuel Lazzini, obviously Argentinian, he can link up with the likes of Sergio Aguero if. You really, if you have that kind of money, though, I'm guessing you're not really going to spend the money on Sergio Aguero. But again, he can link off to other leagues. It, it, it is a very popular nation. You know, you got the likes of um, Perez in Enzo Perez in obviously the um, 
the uh, La Liga BBVA is Lazini gets through on goal here. You also have um, what's his name? Uh, it will come to me in a minute. My mind's gone completely blank. Uh, Liga BBVA. Um, you obviously have Enzo Perez, obviously, and then in the Syria you have uh, Dybala, Icardi, uh, Palacio. There's all kinds of players you can link up. Carlos Tevez for Boca Juniors. You know there are some real talents. You know Angel Di Maria, Lavezzi. You can link up into any league you really want. Um, personally, I think he is one of the top centre attack midfielders I've used. I'd like to see him in maybe a um, overpriced versus affordable um, comparison with uh, Lazzini and Di Maria. It'd be very interesting to see because look, he's getting in all the right positions. He's causing all the kinds of troubles as Kabai wins ahead of there. We are just absolutely dominating here. There's no way this guy is ever going to get into this game. Like, we're, we're, holding, we're dictating play, and the uh, drone gets an opportunity here. It's blocked. But yeah, there's a lot of non rare beasts in this team, uh, granted. But this team gelled together, it played well together, and I was really impressed with it. Uh, so, Manuel Lazzini, why is he so good? He has a great technical ability about him, and I think a key part of FIFA this year is the dribbling ability so obviously he's, he's a great player we, no one can deny that um, you look at players with, with not good dribbling they rely on passing like Johan Kabai that makes him a good player in this game because this game relies so heavily on passing and dribbling so you know I'm, I'm trying to give you guys tips and hints just to get back into this game and if you're struggling with it because it is a massive change from FIFA 15 I've had a lot of success uh, so far, albeit I've only played around about 30 games, but my record's about 25 uh, wins, you know, two draws, uh, or three draws, two losses, so I, I, I'm feeling very good at the moment, so I like my team, my record's not too bad, as uh, Juve gets onto the ball here, we're looking to just cause more problems, there's any guys for on goal, and that is a, <laughs> it's a ludicrous finish, it really is, into the top corner, there's no chance he's ever getting out of the goalkeeper, and like I said, we're just dominating. He has got a bit of a hybrid going on. He has PK in there uh, with Danny Alves. So, I mean, he has got a good defence. Don't get me wrong. He's got Ter Stegen, uh, Danny Alves, PK. Uh, I'm not sure who the other defender is. I think it might be... I want to say Rao Albio, but I'm not too sure. But as you can see here, we're 4 in the world. We're absolutely just dominating. As Rodriguez gets onto the ball here, it is Rodriguez. What can he do? Jay Rodriguez does play into the path of... Uh, if it does get cleared away, Benatia, oh he's got Benatia, that's a bit of a weird one. Uh, Stones would find Lazzini, Lazzini into Ward, Ward into Lazzini, Lazzini for on goal, of course he's going to find the back of the net, that is a goal! That is how we play football and that is pretty much how the episode's going to end guys, the guy does rage quit after this, a 5-0 win for us. Again, absolutely dominating, we, we really did, we just played so well. Lazzini, pros, like I said, I'm just going to recap it here. 350 coins. He's very cheap. He's a great player. He's dominated games. He is awesome. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button too. And I hope you have a really nice day. Hopefully, you want to see more player reviews, maybe with a better format. Uh, this is just a draft copy, so let me know what you think. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.